I know OKRs are supposed to be set quarterly, but do we really need to do this if we know what our annual goals are? What are the benefits of setting quarterly goals versus setting annual goals? Well, that's a great question. Um, the benefit is to be able to like create these moments for you and the team to honestly check in, right? Like what if you, you know, set this year long target and you only find out in like Q3, right? Just like a couple of months before that you and the team are completely off track. And so the idea is for these quarterly OKRs to be objectives and key results that help you get to that outcome that you want by the end of the year, right? And so they might be different. They might be measuring different things. They might be pointing your team just kind of like about left and right uh, on different parts that you want the team to focus on. I mean, one way to think about it too is if that's the North Star, what can we accomplish in the quarter that makes us feel like we're making good progress? Or even to push the team a little bit to say, well, how could we even get ahead of what we think we can accomplish this year? And I think what you'll find at the end of the quarter is either you knocked it out of the park and when that happens, mm -hmm. you know, to do more of it. It also could mean you might want to change your year end goal, but you may actually find out that, hey, this was a really hard quarter or we didn't accomplish our KR. So we've got to change tactics. We've got to talk to different teams. It's this input so much earlier in the process to help you kind of guide what you need to do next. So great question. And I think we like encourage people to set annual goals too, and do have that uh, guiding star, but that can't be like the only thing that you're focused on. You know, imagine in 2020, like you set your goals and starting in January, 2020, but by the time December rolled, rolled around, we were living in a completely different world. So it's good to have that kind of that flexibility to be able to change and grow as like new challenges arise. Yeah. Well, I think the, last. Oh, so, uh, Elizabeth, I was just thinking like an anti, one of the anti um, practices could be, for this one is if you have an annual OKR, you find yourself actually writing out your Q1, 2, 3, 4 OKRs already, right? It's too soon to do that. You know, you shouldn't be plotting out what your OKRs look like for each quarter. Like that's getting ahead of the process in some way. Like the North Star is what you want to get done by the end of the year. This is how we're going to approach it the quarter ahead. And then using that reflection grading cycle to set a great set for Q2 and then again for Q3 and then ultimately Q4. Mm -hmm.